In order to support the picking process in Factory Track, we need to set up at least two special locations. If we look at the general parameters for Factory Track, we'll see on the Picking tab that we have a pick zone which is set. This identifies items that have physically been picked and placed into some cart location. This is used to differentiate between items that are in their original location and yet to be picked and those that have physically been picked where the outbound has not yet been released or the pick list has not yet been confirmed. So we need to create a pick zone for each of the warehouses where we are going to be doing some picking. So if we look here, we have a pick zone and then we need to set up some locations that belong in the pick zone. These are the cart locations that are going to be used to hold the material once they have been picked. So in this case, if we search on the pick zone, we can see that we have at least one cart location. As far as factory track is concerned, when an item on a pick list is in the cart or in the location Joe, then that means it has been picked. It has physically been picked, although the, the outbound has not yet been confirmed. We also need to look at the staging locations. If we go back to the warehouse, then we will see that each warehouse has by default a standard staging location. In this case, it is staging. When we pick the items using factory track, but again, before we release the outbound, we will actually move it from the original staging location to our factory track staging location. In this case, we would use picked as our location. So the cart location and this pick location need to be set up for each warehouse where the picking is going to be performed using factory track. 